What's up, guys? Pull by the fella in it here. Evade game. Yoko Ono, Mr. Flamboyant, Three Finger, Hefe Ring, Mexican Burt Reynolds, Tank Game, Ric Flair, holding shit down like gravity, coming at you live from your mom's house, bringing you another World of Tanks game. I am back. After a long absence, I was arrested in Shreveport with an unregistered machine gun and the intent to manufacture and distribute Snuggies. When the feds caught up with me, I was fresh out to Bob Evans with maple syrup on my collar and I had more white girls and a sock cop with me. Here we are, Sand River Assault in the Bat Chat 25T Tier 10 French Medium Tank. Versace V12 full throttle, only tank in the game with push to start, firing banana berry shells, pterodactyl, mini bar, hologram, camo, headliner for my 1984 Mazda Miata, held up with blue and yellow thumbtacks, swine suede, commander recliner, crossbow in the trunk, driver who can't drive named Slippy, and a coked out loader named Jibbers with a Skittles addiction. I got my battle cat set low like a Honda Civic and I'm going in hard, just like a porno. Now, I may mention at this time that a good friend of ours is on the other team. Goods 1973 or 72, whatever. He used to be a jefe for Yukasu. Anyway, the dude got a hard on for me and my folk. We got a hard on for him. He said some things about, you know, the Butterscotch Prince ancestry or lineage or something to that motherfucking nature. And he just so happens to be in this game. And wouldn't you fucking know it, the Butterscotch Boss, also known as High Life Dog installed a secret hidden transponder so we know right where that bitch ass is at at all times. We on our way now. We rolling deep. We got the bat chats. We ready. We loaded. We going in hard. We going in full throttle. We gonna make this shit happen. We gonna put hoes in submission. But mainly, we gonna send this motherfucker back to the garage. So, we coming up over the hill, you know what I'm saying? We know where this motherfucker's at, dude. It ain't no surprise. I mean, he gonna be surprised. It ain't gonna be a surprise to us, you know what I'm saying? We coming over to him and whatnot, and you know what I'm saying? He's like, oh damn, I fucked up. What the shit is gonna happen? Let me go ahead and pull this shit out. Brrrat! 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 I mean, dude, you know he's fucked, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm hitting him right in the poop shoot. I mean, I'm touching him, man. My homie touching him. Dougie right there in the back. He just kind of watching him. We dumping rounds at his corpse. Scott! I mean, that's it, man. Dougie, you know what I'm saying? He looking at me. He just giving me a pass. He's like, hey, man, I appreciate that shit. You know, because he talked a number of shits to the Brother Scotch boss. And that, you know what I'm saying? That shit, shit's unheard of, because, I mean, what are you going to do? You know what I'm saying? So we out. We reloading. Fuck him. Fuck his set. We out. We're going to go move on to some old other shit. And, you know, you got to think. You know, when we rolling over the hill, dude, the dude like, Jesus Christ, they running up on me. That's the only thing there is to say. I mean, he knew he was in trouble as soon as we went over the fucking hill. I mean, come on. Sometimes, man, you got to put these haters in submission. And, and that was one of the few times that shit worked out perfectly. So, to recap, fuck him, fuck his set. Moving on. Going around the right flank here, you'll notice it's just myself and Fat Nightmares. And you know, we, we come up here and we realize we're alone, uh, just like that song, I think I'm alone now. And we're like, ah, you know what, I'm not about that action. So we just kind of try to turn fuck around. Uh, but you know, at the same time, we think it about turning around, but we're trying to farm some shots at the same time. It, you know, it's a 24 karat gold just 100% conundrum. I'm bumping, I'm busting at this tiger too, excuse me. And the dude, like, RNG is just like, nah, son. Nah, son. I mean, five rounds right here. There goes the fifth one. Oh, hey, look at that. I pulled off a track. And I'm just sitting there cussing. I'm like, dude, I cannot fucking believe this shit just happened. Like, you know, I saw, like, a one eyed cyclops ride a unicorn. That's how fucking rare that shit is, to fire five shots at that range at a fucking tier eight and not do shit to it. And anyway, you know what? A Cyclops riding a unicorn may, be not, may not be rare enough. How about a good teammate that's green? Ah, what? So, anyway, we taking rounds here. We reloading. We're not fans of that, you know what I'm saying? At this point, we going into health conservation mode. 
And you know, when you in that mode, you want other motherfuckers doing the spotting for you. Okay, now we slamming the rounds home in this poor fucking tiger. I mean, the dude, man, he getting put in submission from a distance. From a distance. But, you know, there's not a lot he can do about it. Uh, IS-7, you know what I'm saying, getting shit on. I mean, it, it, it 1-800, who won't it? So, we doing things back here. We making shit happen. We, we putting hoes in submission. We doing what we need to do, you know what I'm saying? We riding high right after we shit on old boy. So, we very confident in the way this situation going to play out. Got a new new guy over here in the fucking hearse with me. I don't know where the fuck he's at, you know what I'm saying? My man's in the, in the other bat chat. He got fucking killed. So, we trying to do some things, man. We trying to make some shit happen. By we, I mean myself and the dude in the hearse on the other side of the board. Right now, we don't have a whole lot of shots. And, you know, this right here is scripture, man. When you low health, man, you really typically don't want to be spotting shit. You want to use <clears throat> your your friendly spotting distance, which is what you should always do when you're in, you know, you're super low health. You shouldn't be spotting shit yourself. These motherfuckers need to pull their weight. They need to spot some shit. Because, you know what, the motherfuckers typically who spot shit, if they fire, they get fucking seen. So, you know, when, when you buck nutty... Okay, when you buck nutty like myself and some of my motherfucking associates, okay, that's what you gotta do. You gotta buck from a distance. I mean, dude, come on, that was a pretty lean shot. I'm kind of shocked I took that, but you know what? As my wife says, you miss 100% of the shots you don't take. So, the moral of this motherfucking story is, man, if you see somebody, dump on that motherfucker section. Put him in submission, spray nut in his general vicinity. If you think of motherfuckers over there, start dumping. That's how I do business, you know what I'm saying? It tends to work out semi-well in my motherfucking favor. And that's all you gotta do, man. I mean, just, I'm saying, if you see somebody, j just spray. Just spray the area with love. I, you know, I mean, come on. I mean, you know, you got a bat chat running at you across a field with his pants around his ankles. He's hobbling and shit, but... I mean, you know, you know if he gets close to you, he gonna wet that ass up. And that's exactly what you need to do, my friend. You need to wet these hoes up. You need to put bitches in submission. Fuck these reds. Fuck these greens, because most of the time they gonna fuck you and whatnot. And, you know, right now, dude, I mean, this guy right here, I mean, that little chunk of bullshit right there saved him just for a second. I mean, dude, I'm shitting on his section. You know, what are you gonna do, dude? You in that position, all you can do is just lay there and fucking take it. This is my man, Whiskey Abuser, in the 5-3. And I'm like, I'm coming for you, S.A. Uh, you know, he's a good guy, man. He's the dude, if you ever saw my Chronicles of Whiskey Abuser, he is the guy who had his ball screwed on tight in the J Panther 2. Get at that video. It's real good. It'd be good for your soul. If you don't like that video, you weren't raised right as a child. Guys, that's all I have for you today. Please subscribe to my shit, like my videos, share my shit, help me glow, go fucking viral and whatnot and get paid. Uh, guys, I love you all. Guess what possible deuces.